welcome to yet another episode of Neko Ebele, literally translated as Let's Sex Workers Speak Up. This is our ninth episode, and uh, people who have been following our TV since last year, we introduced this segment to have sex workers uh, share with the rest of the world, you know, the challenges, the daily life struggles they face, and you know, and we, we with us, we have Oneta as our host who have been hosting this program. We do hope that as we pr plan for this year, we shall make it w wider and uh, we shall be with different divergent views, you know, with other parts from the sex work movement. But now today here with me is the staff of Oneta again. They are going to be talking about a sad moment, a sad story, where one of their lovely executive directors is going to be leaving. But it's not by either she's being fired, but that's how it is debated in their constitution. And on 29th March this year, there will be an official handover ceremony that will be bidding farewell to their lovely executive director, Miss M Madame Daisy Nakatona Mokula. So we shall be exploring more on that and even how life will be after her departure. So I'm introducing my lovely panelists today. Thank you, uh, moderator. I'm Asime Margaret. I work with the mother. I'm a receptionist. Good. Uh, thank you, uh, moderator. Uh, my name is Kumshale Jama. I'm a sex worker. I work with the Oneta as membership and the networking office. Uh, thank you so much, moderator and uh, the Puchu Times television viewers. I am Daisy Nakatona Makula and I'm the outgoing executive director of Oneta. Thank you very much, our moderator and the Puchu Times television viewers. I'm Natukuna Diana, a sex worker. I'm working with Oneta as the advocacy and communication officer. Uh, thank you so much, moderator. I'm Mr. Good. After thank you for the good introductions. Now let us explore the topic today. Let's uh yeah we are I know this is not the official handover. Yeah, people watching some will be available and you witness the official handover. So I want to understand more and want to discuss it together. Daisy, where are you living when at this time when I think you know you have grown and you know when they need you more, where are you living this time? At this moment, exactly, you have the answers. One, you say I have grown, and that means I have to go and leave room for another person to grow. And secondly, you have also said the constitution. So, um, when we were starting Wonefa in 2008, um, we sat as a team and uh, we agreed that uh, the executive, executive director position should be held for a non renewable term of five years. And this was because we wanted to create an opportunity for other leaders to grow. And because by then, when we started Wonefa, the sex work movement was still weak. The voices of sex workers were nowhere to be heard. And so the idea was that we create a strong movement. We create leaders who can speak, who can articulate issues of sex workers. And one of the ways we thought was to build them by you know this as a learning experience you know five years we groom you we train you into report proposal writing in because again i mean we cannot run a movement that has no funds um into public speaking english and so many other you know sorts of skills that a leader requires and so five years is a huge training and so we thought after five years we let you go and then we nurture another person so for, you, so for you, you're not told you quite at all because you have seen uh, the, the recent scenario with the government of Uganda. So for you, you're not part of the project quite at all. We are not part of that. At least one of the things that we treasure and respect most is our constitution. It has supported us grow to the level where we are now mm -hmm. simply because we respect it. And I mean, we are seeing the fruits of what we started. 
we have we had our executive director Kiyomi Maklin who left. She's now running another organization doing a bit similar work in supporting the rural best sex workers, and it's shining. And so we believe that if we continue to do that, the movement will definitely grow into a bigger movement and be able to amplify the voices of sex workers at all levels. Good. Uh, at this stage, are you sure that the monitor will be sustained after you leave it or after your handover? Yes, yes, I'm very, very sure about that. As of, since 2008, it's now coming to 10 years uh, we've been in existence. And uh, I guess one thing that we are super proud of is. Uh, the leadership and governance system of Wonefa, we have a very strong board that is really very supportive, uh, it supports our work, it supports the leadership, it oversees um, the work that happens at Wonefa and they advise the very, very good uh, board members. Um, and then we have a strong and committed staff. Our staff are very, very strong, very committed, very passionate about the work that they do. I at least have, I can attest to that. I've worked with them uh, for the past. Some have worked with them since we started. Some joined along the way, and I've seen, you know, I've seen how strong they are, and I'm sure they will really manage to push uh, the work that one has been doing forward. Um, we have partners. We have donors. Who believe in the work that we do we have membership very strong membership base um, that i really believe that will keep whatever shining i'm very confident that whatever will continue to shine and you know our staff have gone back to school they've had further studies and because whatever is run and managed by sex workers we believe that some certain skills that you don't acquire while you know selling sex, sex on the streets and you know from transferring someone from the streets to office it's it's, it's a bit um tricky and so there's some skills that they really you know need to to, to learn and so Oneta has been very supportive to its staff members by taking them back to school. We have a functional adult literacy um, program that uh, builds our members' capacity in reading and writing, in speaking English, and other basic, um, you know, basic uh, skills in life. And this supports our staff, our peer educators, and our members. And some of, of the staff members of our beneficiaries of that, that program. And some of even go to the university like Diana and Jonah and Toby completing their, their their certificates and maybe they can share with us. Diana. When I joined Moneta, I went through the functional adult literacy here at Moneta's office. And when I became the Andrew Personal Communication Officer, I was supported by Moneta and AJWS to complete my senior form. That was in 2015. Then I didn't go to senior five. I just joined a certificate in project planning and management, which I completed in 2016. Then 2017, I was also again supported to do my diploma, which I'm, which I'm doing it now. This is my second year. And I have gone through several trainings organized by Wonetha and different partners like the resource mobilization, the management, leadership trainings, and very many trainings, the memory project training, the security training, very many trainings. Yes, I feel that within my position and support from other staff members, we shall support Wonetha to Shine. And I'm also one of the staffs uh, uh, from far. Uh, by that time, I was a peer educator and uh, I also held a position of a board member. Uh, after that, when I advertised a job of membership and networking officer, and I applied. In 2017 January, and uh, I succeeded. And then, when I started working with Oneka, I was given a, an opportunity to go for further studies. And then I went in for a job of adults. Then, last year, I sat for my exams. Uh, then, 
now our misery, our results came and my, my results we are somehow okay. Uh, Wanetha uh, has given us who trained us a lot of, uh, of things uh, which, which I remember that he, he can build someone's life like uh, leadership, leadership trainings uh, like uh, these management trainings, uh, like these interpersonal skills. So, where we are, young, we are not in the suspense. Uh, at least, uh, we are equipped with uh, a lot of knowledge, and uh, we better understand some uh, official technical work. My friend, if you are equipped to move, move on. Days and days Abadda <laughs> Omuntu ye nana abazze nga ze mbigere bya mukyala daize faba kyali munda tulibete gifo kola gana wa muna ye okun supporting okuyimiriza we kintu kyaffe gaffe banne ko nole kyote tuina kutia kona era ne mwebaza obutalya constitution ya oneza okwe okwe kyusa ntyale mere kuji okulembeze ere kyo kimwebaliza nyo Never woke up and got worried my name Sibian. Munam and Gumba then I yoke her vacu. Next thing of good, Tiagans and the Mulam, a tingle of one of the Fenangoragan, Bikiari, no way to Jacoba to Mulava, sex worker industry, a child woman of food. So we made a program here five. So, Madame Daisy, when I was against my husband to be a mother, 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 Alwanye nyo tu saone thawa ni uweko zechi Uwe era nsubila Next echiwa zechi ya nsubila Uwe tha still ekila mpazo Ele jakubanga Eche ni ukila nyo Na ya atea still Tukenda kubanga kichakura kana na hiyo Kubanga mtu wa community Good How are you going to show that the legacy are built over this time In the past five years Is going to be maintained Maybe the legacy is not Put back. How are you going to show So, the has not been working in us um, with uh, different stakeholders, different, uh, different organizations, uh, with uh, different ministries, and then I will share with that because we sit on several technical um, committees. We have been working with different partners that are within the human rights um, sector. And so I believe that that one alone can 
sustain the work that UNEFA does. Uh, we, are, we belong to uh, several coalitions that uh, you know believe in, in, in the work that UNEFA does. And, and so we really believe that UNEFA will, will keep on working. We have the support of our donors. It's not an easy thing. It's not an everyday thing where we find a donor supporting you for eight years, five years, ten years, and you continue to have that good relationship. I'm really very grateful, very grateful for the support of our donors. They've really supported us. And I'm telling you now, we've signed contracts of five years, of three years. I mean, really, the support is, is enough to keep one effort going. We really, really want to thank our donors and our partners who have stood by us. I mean, it's not easy. This position is not an easy one if you don't have enough support. You know, friends and you know, donors and partners that are really being supported. I believe it's enough to, to, to ensure uh, one effort sustainability and continuity of its work. And Lupena can share with us the partnership that we have with the government, with the Minister of Health, the Guardians Commission, and so many other partners. Thank you very much. In the Minister of Health, as sex workers, we sit on the Technical Working Committee, the Key Population Technical Working Committee, and we on the National Condom Unit, where we represent sex workers and address sex workers' issues. The, and, uh, and several committees under the Ugandan Commission. And now we are also part of the PEPFA Coalition Committee, where we oversee PEPFA activities and engagement with implementing partners. We have different coalitions and networks, like MAPS Network, Uganda Network of Sex Workers Organizations, so Moneta is everywhere. Moneta so has shined. Yeah. I'm very confident that Moneta will keep on moving. Yeah. Great. Great. So lastly, uh, where are you going? Are you going? Uh, are you going, uh, are you going uh, abroad? Are you going in the village back to dig uh, in the land here? Uh, or you're going to build the uh, anyway? Where you go? And because we know many people usually see at leave their positions, you know, and they are told maybe for long and they end up tempering the constitution in order to make, to ensure they stay in power. Okay. Where are you going? And I think last year here for most of your friends will reflect have a reflection about what having left with you. Where are you going after here? One, two people fear to leave positions. And this mostly is because people don't prepare themselves. If you're not prepared, you can stay in a position for more than 20 years and you'll never be able to leave the position. So one thing that we do at Wonef, as I told you, one of the, 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 the programs that we run, Memory Project, prepared me for exit. I am prepared to go and do something else. Um, I'm prepared to stand on my, my own. And again, we have to respect our constitution much as I would love to stay. Whatever is like a family to me, these are not only workmates, they are my family members. They have been there for me. They have supported me in so many, many ways that are out of office work. And there's that attachment that I don't know what else can ever come between us. And really, I'm leaving a family. It's so painful much as we respect in the constitution it's so painful to see myself walk and go i'm very attached to the sex work community the sex workers themselves because all my life all i've known all i've dreamt of all of this to see the sex work uh, movement grow to see sex workers enjoy their rights as everyone else and that is not a dream that we have achieved yet much as we have you know reached some steps but you know we haven't achieved what we started, um, you know, what we were aiming at. And so, it's so painful to me, but I have to go because we respect our constitution. Um, however, I'm not going far away. I'm going to be within the community. The sex work movement is huge. Um, there are so many grassroots uh, sex work groups that have started. And I may, you know, offer to support 
some of the groups to be able to, you know, to be strong. Because again, the idea, what we wanted ideally was to see a strong sex work movement. And I'm not going to sit home with all the skills that I've acquired here and just go to the village and dig. Much as I'll do my personal other things because I plan for my retirement, but still I'll be within the movement to support, I will advise, I will do some consultancy work where they invite me to. Uh, and I'm going to still be close to Wanetha. I'm not leaving Wanetha forever. If there's an opportunity, I will still come back to Wanetha. If there's any opportunity to support Wanetha, I will be available. I will just be a phone call away. I mean, I cannot leave Wanetha forever. This is my family. It's like a daughter getting married, but they will always come back and visit their families and come for Christmas, for so many other celebrations. So I'm always going to be around. I'm not leaving Wanetha for good, but I'm respecting our constitution as we stated it clearly, that an executive director stands for five years and leave room uh, for growth, uh, for other members to grow. Okay, great. Uh, Wanetha, the uh, staff of Wanetha who I worked with Daisy, I just want to just one for two words, reflection, and uh, yes, what do you miss about Daisy? And, what, what message you have for this as she goes into her retirement time? What I will miss about this, that I won't miss her so much, I'll just go to Nansana. It's uh, leadership skills. She has been a good leader with all qualities that I have ever seen. A leader who delegates, a leader who mentors. She has all the qualities. And she has been a parent, she has been a sister, you know. You don't feel that she has been your boss, but she has been part of you. That's what I always about her. Uh, I, will, I will miss much about um, our executive director because she has been an inspiring person. She has been uh, a motivative person. Really, she has been an encouraging director. So we shall miss her, but uh, nothing to do about it. Uh, what is important and what is the best that uh, she has uh, tried to, to empower us through trainings, like leadership trainings, management trainings, uh, we've been equipped with interpersonal skills. So, with that, I think we shall not be left in, in the suspense. Okay, good. There is one, Jacob Suwani. Whoever the town is solar. Tiova Om Sindhi Munogwale Sazi in the Monetha, Alamenga Monetha, a tamble damaso, so secund damavega. A kitagaza maker would say that you know to my tadira to Jacoba to Moaniliza. A tenna for one in answer and a sewer lanyo to Jacoba to Mulam Blaco, Gamunafe, and a sea and comedian. I'm going to miss because she's. Why? Because I'm meeting a team whenever we Chimani Motima Guan. 
Takena kuwa kumutima, neoneta era tegena kuwa kumutima. Akenda kusiga nanga still, alaba uwa awetagisizo ya maumeza. Weli nesikatite, alijana na jiposhe, negena maso. So, we are going to miss her, please. Okay, that was a very, a very touching and passionate and is full of uh, emotions and everything. But as you always have to know, sometimes to follow uh, the set guidelines, that's uh, what we found on uh, this earth. You have to follow the rules, you have to follow the set uh, principles. So, uh, dear viewers, thank you for watching. Uh, we are going to bring the live update for Daisy's um, handover ceremony on the 29th of March. Thank you and... Keep watching Kuch Times TV. Thank you very much.